today off for a 60 or 70 kilometer bike ride. Uh, riding with a friend of mine, Chema. He's a, a much stronger cyclist than I am, so I'm expecting to come back knackered, even though he always, uh, always tells me he's gonna take it easy. I'll try and capture some decent footage for you on the way. The scenery's gonna be pretty good. We're riding across lots of Wiltshire's countryside, including uh, the Imber Trail and some of Roundway near Devizes. The weather is pretty damn good today, so looking forward to uh, a good, probably two and a half, three hours on the trails on the, uh, the Canyon Grail. So that's Headington Steps, uh, just over, just about a mile long, probably about 400 feet gained in that mile, all off-road. But the reason I wanted to, uh, to stop here and for Chema and I to just talk to you quickly is so that you can see this. The view of Wiltshire from here is, is awesome. We're on the top of Roundway, just outside Devizes in Wiltshire. Um, we're heading in that that direction you can just about make out some hills over there that's uh, that's where we're headed next we've got another climb similar to this to go not quite as bad but a little bit more technical it doesn't get much better than this the sun beautiful countryside and mate and gravel. Absolutely magnificent animals. Get chatting with the cyclists as well. It's awesome. Look at this guys, look at this. Look how lucky we are. got hills, countryside, sunshine, and we've got gravel. So here we are, mid-ride, about to start a wicked descent, heading in that direction. He's off already. We're getting closer to our final climb of the day. Chema's still with me. You can see that ridge line over there to my left. That's what we're headed up, off-road. See you at the top, hopefully. So I've stopped mid-climb, but what I wanted to show is some of the um, technical aspects of gravel climbing. If you can make out the ground there, the sorts of divots, this is caused by water flowing down the hill, cutting a path, making its own way. And those, uh, those little ravines and holes can grab a tire, grab a wheel, pull it down into the bottom of it and can really upset both your momentum or, or worse, pull you off. Um, going uphill, it's pretty tough. Going downhill, it can be a bit more, a bit more dangerous if you're going fast or you, you're out of control. A fantastic, another fantastic view of Wiltshire. And as we pan the camera around, we're off that way, heading towards, um, eventually towards Westbrook, Westbrook Horse got Gore Cross first, we're on the Imber Trail now, skirting the edge of the Salisbury Plain tra military training area. It's possible to lengthen the loop and go out past Chemo and take a 60, 70, well, a 65 to 70 kilometre loop up and make it about 120, but we're, we're short on time and I'm short on fitness today. Um, so we're heading off. Here we are a little bit further along the track, cruising at 25 kilometres an hour. First bit of flat we've had for a while, but look at this. The weather helps obviously, but the Wiltshire countryside, I can't speak of it enough. We're so lucky to have this on our doorstep. So lucky to be riding the right type of bikes to enjoy it. We're back home, fantastic ride. 60, 65 kilometers done all off road. Lots of climbing, lots of, uh, lots of descending. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs. We're uh, probably probably overdue a beer now. That's a couple of thousand calories burned, but it's been a great morning and now to get on with the rest of Sunday. Yeah, barbecue, roll on. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the, the video and there's been some useful info. See you Bye. again. Ta-da.